Hi, I'm Lizzie, and in today's video, I want to talk about what to do when your image is taken a slide because you just do not have the time. So if that's you and you're very time poor and you're a busy working woman, probably a mum as well, potentially a mum, um, what do you do when you know that you're not showing up as your best self at work and you have a feeling, a nagging feeling that maybe it's starting to impact your career and what other people think about you? Um, but more importantly, how you're feeling about you. You know, when you leave the house in the morning, if you're not feeling good, if you know that you're not really prepared in what you're wearing and you don't feel good, then it just impacts your day. So. There's a few things that I would recommend that you do. And the first thing is um, to schedule the time. Um, your issue with your wardrobe not working for you is not gonna fix itself on its own. Um, so the first thing that you need to do is actually to make the time. You know, we don't have the time, we have to make the time. And that's true for anything. And um, we, we only, you know, we give the time to the things that we care about. And if you, like many of my clients, really don't actually care that much about clothes, you're not really that bothered about how you look, it's very, very low on your sort of values and how you want to spend your time, that's often where your wardrobe slides into, um, you know, not being, you know, the top of your list. And it's only when it starts being a problem, it's only when it starts kind of encroaching on your headspace, it starts to kind of start nagging you, start worrying you, start stressing you, then, then you definitely need to do something about it. So my first tip is just to actually get the diary out and, and almost make a plan of when you're gonna do something about it. And just see if there's any weekend coming up where you can get some childcare if you've got kids and just give yourself some headspace to actually think about it. Um, the other thing is then obviously to, to make a plan and think about what you actually need. You know, actually look at what, what the issue is. And, and the first thing I would get you to do is what I would call an image audit, where just get reality about it. Look in the mirror, put some outfits on that you wear to work and just see where you where the real problem is where, where what's letting you down and you you know you've probably got a good idea anyway but i really always think it's really good for people to actually get a reality check on what's actually going on and seeing whether the clothes themselves the styles and everything are fine it's just that they're kind of worn out now and that you need to replace them or whether they're just you know out of date you're feeling a bit frumpy a bit dowdy um just get get clear in your own mind where where the problem is lying for you um, and once you've got that, you're much more likely to think, right, okay, I'm a bit clearer now on what the problem is and I'm gonna take some action on it. Um, and then the other thing that I would do is just think about what you wanna get from that. Like, what, what difference will it make to you? Think about the positives that will come from taking the time to work on your wardrobe. Again, you know, you might be somebody who hates exercising but you manage to get yourself to the gym because you know the rewards um, the rewards are waiting for you down the line. They might not be instantaneous, but you know how much better you feel when you go to the gym or you feel at a certain weight or just having that energy. Um, you know, th that's what you need to think about with your clothes. Just think, right, what is the end goal and what do you want to get from having a, having a load of clothes that will make you feel really good about yourself and feel good at work? Um, and then the next thing really is just to actually then put the time in for when you're going to go and do um, a clear out of your wardrobe, when you're going to do a shop for the pieces that you need um, and then schedule that in and, and just really think about what, how you're going to make that work and as I said if it's, you know, it's not about multitasking, it's not a day for you to be you know, going with your kids in tow or anything, it's a really, you know, it's part of, it's part of your career, it's quite part of your business so just put that time in um, and mark it like you would if you were preparing for an interview or if you had a big speech to do, you wouldn't be kind of juggling it and doing it while you're doing other things, you'd, you'd put your attention on that. So the multitasking part is actually really important, don't try and squeeze it in amongst a million other things. Um, those are the most important things, I think, that even just to, to get you to start thinking about it. And, and the final point really is that I realise that so many women have got an idea that they should know, um, know about their style and they know about their clothes and, and it's almost like they don't ask for help like they would in other areas of their life that they were kind of not keeping up with. So for example, if your house was starting to look a little bit worn, um, you know, if your front door, the paint started chipping off a bit and you, you know, your hall looked a bit bashed around, um, you know, the paint starting to look a bit worn after a few years, you wouldn't be waiting for the moment where you had time to go to the DIY store and buy loads of paint and paint the walls. 
that's my experience. If you're a senior executive woman, if you're a woman who owns her own business, you know, and you're successful, that's not something you're waiting for the time to do. The, the first step you would do is you would be calling, you know, you'd be putting the word out for a painter and decorator. And yes, the work you might have to do would be choosing the paint colors and things like that, but you're not gonna be up that ladder painting that wall. So I would think, I would ask you to start thinking about your wardrobe in the same way. It doesn't have to be something that you have to do all on your own. You know, you can go from anything from, you know, making an appointment with an in-store um, personal shopper, all the way up to hiring someone like myself who can help you, you know, with your style and wardrobe, particularly in the case of what I do is in line with what your business goals are. So just start to think about maybe, would it be such a stretch for you to think about actually asking for help um, and realizing that it isn't something that you have to do on your own. So those are the main points that I would say for you to start just thinking about if you are particularly time poor and you're struggling to make your, you know, your image up, up to scratch with how you want to be perceived and how you want to feel. So don't put it off any longer. If you have got um, a wardrobe that's letting you down and you you're time poor, it won't fix itself on, it, on its own. So you do have to start thinking about how to put the time in to make it work for you. So I hope that those tips have been useful and just even just to plant the seed and help you to start thinking about how you might be moving, moving forward to make an improvement. Um, all the best with that and I really hope that you, you get some confidence and you, you go forward and help your wardrobe to look better so that you feel better.